Well, let's get more on this deal. We have Michael Hefferman, senior client advisor at Allstock Securities, and he says that new Chrysler here deal is not a sign of things to come. For now, M&A deals are pretty much on the back burner. Is that right, Michael? Why do you think that? We're seeing a, we saw a flurry of activity so far in the first few months, MacArthur Cold being a very popular item right now as well. Well, uh, gold certainly is uh, very popular at the moment and its price is going up. But I think the, 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 the lead weight uh, hanging around the neck of the mining industry at the moment is, as you've just indicated, the proposed uh, super tax uh, that the government's introduced. Look, in the long run, we don't know exactly what's going to happen here. But in the short term, it's going to put mergers and acquisitions, in my opinion, uh, certainly on the back burner for the immediate future until the details of this tax uh, does get worked out. Look, there's a lot of mm -hmm. details to be sorted out. There's an election coming up. Uh, who knows yep. what the future holds, actually? Okay, well, we know what the future holds sort of for Lee here at this point, Michael. What did you think of this uh, deal? Uh, the premium involved, you know, some say it's not, it's not really that compelling, but it looks like the CEO was pretty happy with it. Oh, well, clearly, it's a, it's a second go here. Uh, and, uh, you know, when, when, the, when the price and the consideration for the takeover does get increased from the initial bid and when it looks like there may not be any other parties uh, in, the, in the yard, so to speak, uh, then I think uh, Lahir have seen the writing on the wall and said, uh, well, it's a good offer. Uh, let's go ahead and take it, given the uncertainty that seems to be uh, swimming around the world at the moment. Yeah, there's a lot of uncertainty. Now, you talked about that super tax, uh, Michael, which you said will actually put these M&A uh, calls on the back burner. Let me just ask you about the big names such as BHP and Rio. Do you think they'll be affected by this 40 percent uh, taking from the government? Well, absolutely. If it goes ahead, as it's been indicated that it will, it's certainly, I mean, any tax, if you increase any tax, clearly it's going to reduce incentive to do anything. It's going to reduce the profits available for exploration, capital investment and dividends. So clearly it's a negative. But as I said before, the details are yet to be worked out. We have an election coming up. I think the Prime Minister is already talking to mining industry leaders this very day. So, uh, you know, it's far from a done deal, in my opinion. Okay, well, let me just quickly ask uh, you about uh, Westpac earnings. Uh, again, climbing 30%, just like what we saw from ANZ Bank. Uh, what did you think of these numbers? Impressed? Oh, another impressive result from one of our major banks. Uh, you know, cash earnings, what, up about 30%. ANZs were up 20%. Commonwealths were up 54%. Uh, look, the banks are burning at the moment, and uh, that's on the back uh, of, a, of a fairly robust economy. Deposits are up. Bad debts are on the back burner with Westpac. They've got the St George merger uh, paying benefits for them. Uh, and in the future, with the economy bubbling along, I think it's got to be good for all our major banks over the course of the next year. OK, quickly, Michael, you're expecting uh, Australian stocks to gain 10 to 20 percent from here. What's the best buy right now? Uh, I'm sorry, I missed that question. What's the best buy you're expecting Australian stocks to rise 10 to 20 percent? Quickly, 30 seconds. Oh, well, I think CSL and Cochlear, which are, uh, if you like, pharmaceutical medical companies based in the U.S., as the U.S. dollar increases, the profits of CSL and Cochlear have got to increase. So I think they're two stocks, but the other uh, stocks in the resources sector also, uh, the major ones, are also on my favoured list. All right, Michael, thanks for your time this morning. Michael Heffernan of Stock Security.